In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You're very welcome to the Brendan Option, coming to you courtesy of Immaculata Productions. I'm Father Brendan Kilcoyne. If you like our work, would you hit the subscribe button, which does us a, a power of good. Won't cost you anything. If you want to send us some money, use Patreon or PayPal. If you want to send a comment, you're most welcome, as long as they're fair and constructive. Please keep us in your prayers and in your masses. Yeah? Coming up, especially now coming up to Christmas. Uh, I want to talk about something slightly controversial in a small way. This business of missing Mass on Sunday or Saturday evening, Sabbath Mass, right? I want to talk about that. Just briefly, I want to make it clear for a start because a few of you out there, you know, little grudge bunnies are going to be the first, you know, to post in saying, well, why don't you say this in your own parish? For a start, I've rather cunningly changed parish in the meantime. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I'm going to say is I'm not going to do that because I'm fat, bald and lazy and cowardly. And for the likes of me, life is tough. So I'm going to say it here, where it's safe. Yeah? Okay. And I'm not going to say it on the pulpit where I could be beaten into a red stain on the carpet of the sanctuary. This is no good. The church makes exceptions for the Sunday obligation. If you're too old, if you're infirm, if, you know, you're sick, if there's a volcano, an earthquake, if your foot is chewed off by a bear, or you've been bitten by a mad sheep. But generally, you're supposed to be at Mass on Sunday, Saturday evening, Sunday, same thing. Sabbath starts at six. Now, the reason I'm going to go on about this is not because this should be obvious, and it's not obvious. And here's the thing, you listen, it's not obvious to a lot of veteran Catholics, outstanding Catholics, veteran Catholics who've, who've been in the spiritual wars for decades and decades and decades, and many of them are bringing up a whole second family because Irish grandparents are putting in huge amounts of time into their grandchildren. I find some of them saying to me, you know, well, I, uh, Sunday is impossible for this or that reason, so I go on Friday, I go on Thursday. Sorry, boo-boo, no good. No good. If you are not honestly and definitely prevented by something that any reasonable person would recognise as an, an insuperable impediment, you are supposed to be at Mass on the Sabbath. You're supposed to get your Catholic fundamentum on a seat in some church for Mass. On the Sabbath, Saturday evening or Sunday. COVID has created a huge problem with this. And not necessarily directly, okay, partly directly because it frightened the life out of some older people, but also because of the webcams. Also because of the cameras and the fact that the whole thing now is online and you don't have to go. Going to Mass online is, is good if you cannot otherwise go. If you can otherwise go, you are obliged to go. And going online is actually worse than not going at all because it's clear that you know you should be at Mass. And it's clear that you understand the need for Mass. Otherwise, why would you be watching it instead of watching your favourite sitcom? If you know enough to be watching it online, <laughs> you should be in the church. Unless you can't be in the church. If you can't, you can't. That's fair enough. Now, some people were paralysed with fear, on the, uh, afraid that they'd catch COVID. And fair enough. Look, the, the impediment can be physical or it could be, you know, psychological, moral, emotional. Yeah. I can see that. But most people aren't affected like that. And they should be at Mass. It's a strict obligation and it's on pain of sin. Sin, as in sin. Yeah? And that sin is mortal if it's done deliberately and freely and knowing what you're doing. You see, and if you're watching it online, you probably know what you're doing. Because otherwise, 
What, what, what are you doing there? You're sitting there with popcorn? Watching it? Come on, you're not, you're not watching your favourite programme. You should be at Mass. I don't want to offend you. And I don't want to burden you. And I don't want to be unpleasant or to be awkward about this or anything else. But woe to me if I do not preach the gospel, all right? And Catholics are obliged to go to Mass on Sundays. Saturday evening, Sunday. And a lot of the excuses that Catholics have now simply will not wash. I don't go to Mass, but I go in to light candles. You're condemning yourself already with the candles. Okay, they'd be the dear candles. Yeah? That is going to be the candle you'll wish you didn't light. Yes? Because what are you saying when you go in to light candles, genius? Okay? You're making it clear that you have a spiritual hunger, you're making it clear that you understand something of your faith, you, you, you're making it clear you understand something of the significance of the sacred space in which you're in. Do I have to go on? I mean, you, you, you're signing your own sentence. If you can do that, you should be at Mass. You know, like, I, you know I don't go, but I'm, I'm very nice to other, you know, I'm nice to people and I'm a good neighbour and all the rest of it. Sure, any pagan can say the same thing, probably. That's not enough. I'm sorry. You're going on as if good works are enough for salvation. They're not enough for salvation. Faith is necessary for salvation. Faith and good works. Okay, faith first. Please don't let this go on any longer than this Christmas. Okay? Decide this Christmas, approaching the great feast of the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Saviour, that you are going to stop this nonsense, that you're going to stop lying to yourself, that you're going to stop uh, messing about with things that are really dangerous to mess with. And you're going to either stay in, leave this religion or stay in it and obey its teachings. And that means that you have to go back to Mass. I'm sorry. I wish, you know, I could I could say something sweeter. Yeah? But um I don't think this is being addressed. I think it's the fault of priests like me, no question about it, but I'm addressing it here now in my craven, cowardly little way. But still it's been said. Mass Sunday. See you there. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.